In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to map informer bus routes in OpenC map if you are chosen. Of course, you need chosen installed, the chosen configuration files that are in chosen, and OpenC web account, and of course, the root files itself. If we have opened chosen, we head over to file, and then we click on open. We head over to the location, and double click on our GeoJSON file. Our editor changed and we head over to the layer section, right click on its only entry and say convert to GBX layer. We do that again and now we say customize drag drawing. We replace the zero with a, for example three and click OK. This makes our line more discoverable. Now we need to Find out where the start and where the end of the route is. For that we have the little, little errors on the route. They are pointing in the direction of the destination. In this case, it's on the left side and the start is on the right side. Time to zoom and pan to the start in order to be able to download OSM data. Then we click on File. We ensure that Download OSM data continuously is checked. And then we click Download and Count View. Now we click on the root relation, bus root relation symbol and type in the requested information. Then we click on New relation. This window pop, pops up and gives us a summary of our relation we're going to map. If we select a route, this selection appears in the section list. And if we hold down the shift key and select another, we can Add to selection. If we think we are done adding enough to the selection, we can uh, click this button to add it to the start of the members list. Then we can click on an empty area of the map to deselect. We do that again. We hold. We are holding down Shift key, select a street. We pan the map. Click on the street, pan the map, select the street. Um, if you think we are done, we go clicking on the last button, which adds the selection to the end of the members list. Remember to repeat this step to the end of the route. And remember to follow the Mankenda colored line. And if you're done, and we want to check if everything is right, we can use the column with this black line. It helps us to validate our route. And everything what is uh, not uh, black lined, for example, what is red does not belong in a wood or is wrongly mapped. We click on the wrongly mapped entry, right click on it and say zoom to. As we see, there's a building and the building naturally does not belong in a bus route. In order to delete this, we are utilizing the delete button, trash icon. Now we see these two red dots. It means that these two are not connected to each other. In order to fix it, we click on one of the two and say zoom to. We do that again with the other one to know where the other one is. 
and we see the gap between them. And this is the gap we need to fill in. So we are selecting it and utilize one of the, for example, this button to add this street before the selected mem street member of the members list. Now I did a mistake. Uh, and we can, so I delete that, which uh, Josen allows us to easily, easily fix it. And now we can uh, again select members and use one of these buttons. Done. Now the line turned black. And if we just see this one red dot on the start, and the other red one, red dot on the end. Then we are fine and can click OK. Then we can click on the upload button, which is grayed out for me because I have nothing to upload. Please remember, if you upload, please document your changes. Remember, OpenZMap is a crowdsourced project where members know need to know what you do. Thank you.